his today's price, price not the same as yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> right, over. And then I got in trouble with Cop Killer. Okay, okay. So it derailed the whole shit. That was all Warner Brothers. So it would have been a part two, maybe. Gonna wear this and sell poison to our people. You ain't shit. Get yeah, they had a script for it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Gotta go back to New Jack City. Yo, this is Queen Latifah. Bringing a song to you. This point. That New Jack City thing, I gotta get this out, man. So. Right. Some James Cagney type shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how you living, baby. Living large, brother. <laughs> When you think about the New Jack City, do you have you seen Wesley Snipes and those guys since all that happened? Yeah. Have the co I mean, I always wanted to, you know, I wanted a, a part two of this New Jack City, you know, in my mind, it was gonna happen. Cancel that bitch. I'll buy it now. <laughs> you know, I'm like, yeah. we gonna get that it, thing. It got, it, got, it, got, it got derailed because Wesley went and did, uh, he went and did Demolition Man. Yeah, he got seven million dollars for New Jack City. That was Can, the full budget. Right. So he went up and his today's right. price not the same. As that. <laughs> <laughs> the price right. is over. And then I got in trouble with Cop Killer. Okay. Okay. So it derailed the whole shit. That was all Warner Brothers. So it would have been a part two, maybe. <laughs> How the hell are you gonna wear this and sell poison to our people? You ain't shit. Yeah, they had a script for it. Man, how wow. you, how you asking all these questions, man? This shit, I didn't know, man. Wow. You, you pull it out of ice, no, man. No, I'm asking you because I, 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 like, I just, I, that's my history. I'm just looking at what yeah, I love. A script, and the script basically started with uh, pretty much Wesley on a, on, a, on a gurney in a hospital. That's what I thought. <laughs> so he made it through. Damn. Yeah. That, that would have been lovely. And they wanted me and him to go after... The, the actual people that were bringing the drugs in. He was going to go over to the other side and was going to get gangster from that perspective. Wow. But with That's such crazy. an iconic film, I'm like, it should have came out. Wow. Well, it's all business. It's all money. You know, I the people know. that make movies don't watch movies. They just they just invest money. So with the money doesn't add up. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I, uh, my husband and I, we always have a debate on something. Well, let's, let's finish this debate. Shut that down. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. um, who started... Hip hop or rap? Oh yeah, oh that's an yeah. impossible answer. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. people like Coakley Rock, and you know, I mean, the legend goes that it had a lot to do with Cool Herc. That's why she's Jamaican, man. This is this is not a good conversation. Well, the, 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 le the legend goes that Cool Herc was the first person that had the stereo that mm -hmm. threw the parties, and he created the ability. See, hip hop started with the breaks, the breaks of the record. That was the genius of hip hop. Who Herc decided every record has a breakdown. It's a drum break. Mm -hmm. And it's where the, the the music gets down. So he figured out why play any other parts of the record. Only play the breakdowns. And they now you got only instrumentals. You got the get down. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. And he did parties where he would not play anything but the breaks. Mm -hmm. Now there's a legend that says that that's, the dancers were called break dancers because they danced over the breaks. But then I just heard Crazy Legs, one of the OGs, Rock Steady crew, say that break dancing made up by his manager, Lady Blue, who just out of nowhere called it break dancing. Like he was like, okay, what the fuck is break dancing? <laughs> I get a call the other day to say uh, uh, Rudy Ray Moore rhyming was one of the first entries to rhyming and oh, flipping and you know what I'm saying? That's what I heard. It's they possible. Tried to say, I don't know. I don't know. Rap. Rap. <laughs> Tina Marie rapped uh, a fatback band, King Tim the See, Third. It's a lot. But hip hop mm -hmm. isn't rapping. Hip hop is the culture. The culture. Mm -hmm. So okay. rapping is a vocal delivery. A lot of people have tried, like Iceberg Slim, is rapping. Mm -hmm. There but, you go. But, but the reason the rapper, like Melly Mel, was the first person to use the term MC. The last poets. Last poets, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But it wasn't over a beat. So this rapping, the stuff I, I was doing, wasn't over a beat. So it was it was a mixture of a bunch of things and stuff. Uh, Cow Cowboy from the Furious Five was the first person to say hip hop. So all these things turn into a culture. And the hip hop culture is four elements. It's DJing. You could be a DJ, that's mm -hmm. part of the culture. Yeah. A graffiti artist or a graffiti mm -hmm. writer, they call them writers, a dancer or an MC. 
Mm. The MC's early job was because the DJ was playing these breaks was to talk about the okay. DJ. Okay. But then like from Jamaica, you have the toasters, you have the people that 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 chant over the DJ. But it's really all about the DJ. The DJ, how great the DJ is. That's why early rap groups is Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Jam Master J and Run DMC. Oh, Fresh Prince. I mean, Jazzy, Jazzy J, J, J and Fresh J Prince. And French Prince. The DJ starts first because without the DJ, ain't no party. I can't show up rapping. Ain't nobody playing mm -hmm. no records. I mean, he got to come with all the equipment mm -hmm. so I can do my thing. That's why you wanted to be a DJ in the beginning when you came out. And I started to get more love from getting on the mic. So I was like, shit. Fuck carrying these speakers around. And them crates. Yeah, so, uh, so I, um, I hooked up with the New York City Spin Masters. Hen G and Evil E, they were from Brooklyn. And they were already spinning at parties mm -hmm. in LA. So I, I hooked up with them, they knew how to scratch. I said, look, let me show up at your parties with you. And next thing you know, I got my name on the flyers and stuff. And that's how I started getting my getting around LA. I told Faison, I told, I told Faison last night. <laughs> Faison hit me with a blow last night, said that he you, he uh, won a contest and you was the one that he won it. Ask him, then I went. I said, man, you ain't no, you ain't you no dang DJ, DJ, man. Hey, but yeah. ask, ask, ask him how he got to deal with the grenades. This, you really want to hear this. Oh, story. yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's another story. That's now, another. Which, wait a minute, let me. Uh, which he he, he, he said he was a DJ. He said he used to make some scratch. Say he, he won, won a contest. He won one have. of your contests. He and, might have. And I'm like, I don't remember. I, 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 <laughs> I won he was a, a DJ. I won a contest at Carolina West where Curtis Blow was the judge. Whoa! Mm. See, y'all don't forget that. You can't forget that when you win some at that early, early of a stage. And really, that was the moment I thought I really could do it right. mm. because Curtis Blow was a real rapper. Yeah, and he was a star. And for him to say, I had enough to win that contest, I left that night like, <laughs> I might have some action at this, you know? this And then I didn't really take it serious. Then I saw Run DMC at the sports arena, Ooh. and they had lasers and shit. And I was like, yo, this shit is going to be big. Because up to that point, it was only done in garages, you know, small clubs, street shit. So I was like, well, now I'm hustling. So my niggas like, man, you better get this money, man. Mm -hmm. Rap shit. Yeah. Ain't nobody bought no cars rapping. Like, ain't no, cause no one had made no bag yet. You know, it was just something to do for fun. So when I saw them, it was like, this is about to be big. Mm -hmm. And that night, I think I went home, wrote an album. Like I, <laughs> <laughs> I went home and started working on my craft. Motivation. But yeah, that was the motivation. Yeah. Boss Talk 101. Let's get it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. We doing numbers. Y'all looking peewee. Y'all looking hungry. We looking greedy. Remember back then, we were poke. Now you said you.